GM friends, the time has finally come. FMOS has launched successfully. However, it is still not possible to claim your airdrop yet. However, there is the possibility to buy FMOS on the free market, for example, on Diffusion and AMM on FMOS. And in today's episode, I will show you how to buy FMOS, how to use Diffusion, how to use the Nomad Bridge and so much more. So let us not waste much more time and get this episode started. Before kickstarting this episode, please note as always that I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a German guy on the internet who loves to talk about Cosmos. So please take none of my statements as financial advice. But if you like this YouTube channel and if you enjoy these videos, please go subscribe and hit the like button and also activate the bell to not miss out on any DeFi Times content anymore. But now let us dive deeper into the conversation. Let us talk a little bit about FMOS. First things first, I mean, as I mentioned, this is a Cosmos YouTube channel. So I'm not too sure how familiar you are with MetaMask. So the very first step is if you have a MetaMask wallet already, um, you have to change the networks. So as you can see, now I have my two E's here and with the two E's I want to buy FMOS. Um, the thing is that my E's is right now on the FMOS, uh, on, on, on the Ethereum mainnet. And I want to go to FMOS, so I have to switch the networks here. Um, there are some networks I used already, for example, Arbitrum, Matic, Optimism, etc. And I also added FMOS already. Um, you have to click here on add network um, before you do that. And then you need um, to go to this website because there's all the information that you have to insert in order to add the network successfully, like the network name, uh, the chain ID, um, the symbol, um, and uh, yeah, everything what you need. Then also the RPC is here. So this is pretty, pretty um, important because otherwise you can't use it. However, let us launch the app. This is Diffusion. Uh, big fan of the project. And um, yeah, right now I'm not connected yet because I'm still in the Ethereum mainnet. Why am I still in the Ethereum mainnet? Yeah, well, because my ETH are on the Ethereum mainnet and I have nothing on FMOS. So how can we bring my, ETH, uh, my, my, my ETH from Ethereum to FMOS, it's pretty simple. So you uh, can, you, we are right now on the swapping interface. So here we can swap different assets back and forth. Here is Here are the pools and here you can uh, farm everything. But the first thing we have to do is um, bridging my Ethereum assets from Ethereum to FMOS. That's the very first step. We're using the Nomad bridge because it's uh, currently the only bridge um, that is activated as far as I know. And um, yeah, now we have to select a token. We take ETH. And now let's say we bring one ETH from Ethereum to FMOS. And now, as you can see here, um, yeah, the thing is, <laughs> we are the IBC gang. That may be a shock to you guys, but uh, yeah, we, 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 have to, we have to wait a little bit until it arrives. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, now we will send now we will send our ETH via Nomad to FMOS and this might take some time. So I just press on sending. And yeah, now this takes some uh, takes some time. In the meantime, I will get myself a coffee. But before I get my coffee, of course, I also have to um, I also have to sign the transaction. It's um, yeah, twenty nine dollars to do that. So yeah, we are on the Ethereum playground, and the Ethereum playground is quite expensive. But that's the only chance to get FMOS right now. But yeah, um, I just did this. I signed the transaction, and yeah, now I will get a coffee. So the transfer finally is completed. And now, of course, uh, we go back to Diffusion Finance. And the first thing I have to do is change my network because now we are still on Ethereum. Um, and now I have to change to FMOS because this is where my ETH is. Let's go on FMOS. Now we are here on FMOS. And what you can see here is that I brought my ETH to 
FMOS. So let's wait a second until everything um, loaded. Um, yeah, I have to say like uh, generally the EVM uh, environment is uh, very different to the Cosmos environment. Um, but that's nothing too bad. But yeah, as you can see, I have now one rep ETH. And now everything is pretty simple. So let's say, let's swap 0 0.1 wrapped ETH into FMOS. Um, first of all, we have to allow the diffusion protocol uh, to use um, wrapped ETH. And therefore I have to open the MetaMask and I have to confirm that I really want to use it. So that I um, that I really want to um, use wrapped ETH on uh, diffusion. Confirm it. So yeah, and as you can see now, it takes some while until everything is approved. And now I can trade wrapped ETH into, of, uh, into FMOS. Swap, confirm swap. And now again, we have to uh, wait for the transaction to be confirmed. This might take some time. And of course, now I have to confirm the transaction. I have to sign it, very similar to Cosmos, of course. And now, transaction submitted. I could add FMOS to add MetaMask, of course, but um, I added it already, so um, it's not a problem. And um, yeah, now the transaction is uh, pending. Um, takes some time, but uh, should be pretty fast. So in a couple of seconds, I will have done my very first swap on FMOS and here it is. So my first swap on diffusion is completed. I just swapped 0.1 wrapped ETH into FMOS and now I have 51 FMOS. Why did I do this? Um, like generally, why didn't I wait, for example, for um, for IBC to, to, to be enabled? Well, it's uh, a very obvious reason here because airdrop guys. Um, as sooner as you used uh, diffusion, the more you will get, um, the more diff tokens you will get because diffusion um, will do an airdrop very soon. And uh, if you, for example, staked Osmo with friends or binary holdings, you were already eligible for the airdrop, but there are also more criteria um, um, that you can fulfill in order to be eligible for the airdrop. And I mean, the more exercises or the more tasks you fulfill, the bigger your airdrop will become. And this is what I just did. Um, yeah, I just swapped. Uh, my wrapped ETH into FMOS and I used the diffusion platform. And this is pretty cool. So everything worked out successfully. So yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy about how everything, how everything um, is being done on diffusion. And um, yeah, guys, I think this is, this was a, bit, a big eye opener because that's basically the very first AMM that you can use on FMOS a day for the history books. So um, yeah, I would recommend you guys to check it out, to try it out, to play a little bit around because again, there's a big airdrop alert in the FMOS ecosystem. The more you use all these juicy depths, the more you will earn in form of airdrops. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and give this video a like. This triggers a YouTube algorithm and leads to an FMOS pump on the other hand. And with that being said, I hope I see you on Monday for another episode of Simply Explained.